Hey family, it's your girl, Dr. Nia Pettis with Nobody But God Ministries. And I just wanted to give you a brief update with this cancer vlog number six. Um, as you might can tell by my voice, I've been under the weather the last couple of weeks with extreme coughing and chills. Um, I went into the hospital and was tested and they said I have pneumonia. And I called last night because I wasn't able to sleep at all and the breathing is very labor and it hurts in my chest to speak. And they said I have to go to the ER. Well, that's why I'm coming to you because you know that no one wants to go into the ER setting if they don't have to in this season of the coronavirus. But even without visitors and all that kind of stuff, I know I won't be walking in alone because Jesus will be with me. I stand on his word that I am healed. I'm healed despite being a metastatic breast cancer. I'm healed despite having asthma. I'm healed despite having pneumonia. I'm healed despite having renal carcinoma. I'm healed despite having heart failure. I'm healed because God said in Isaiah 53 and 5, he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. <coughs> <coughs> With his stripes, we are healed. And then if you walk over to the next chapter, Isaiah 55 and 17 says, no weapon. I want you to hear this, no weapon, that includes no disease, no condition in your health, no condition in your finances, no condition in your spirit, no depression, no anxiety, no fear, none of those weapons that, that the devil forms against us shall prosper. And it goes down to say that in every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness of me, saith the Lord. So don't worry about what people say about you. Don't worry about all the news and all the horrific things that are going on. Just know you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Not saying that he exempts us from things, but the blood covers. The blood covers from the head to the, to the toes. And I'd invite you to anoint yourself with oil. I invite you to pray over yourself and to have your household while in quarantine to do some type of fasting because the Lord says some miracles only happen through prayer and fasting. So I just love you and just asking all intercessors to get in position and continue to pray and lift me up. Lift my mother up as a caregiver. She's been through so much. And um, when you go to the ER, of course, you go by yourself and no one can see you. No one can visit you. Just like when I had to go for tests last week. But I thank God that I'm never alone because Jesus is omnipresent. And so I thank God for knowing him for myself. Knowing him for myself. And this Sunday, make sure you hear some good Bible teaching, uh, biblically based word from a man or woman of God. And that you stay still to hear the salvation of the Lord. And that peace will be still in your spirit and in your home. And that anxiety, I decree and declare, will be rooted out and cursed at its root. And that you will not fear, but you will walk in faith, fear less faith more because when you fear you take away from the faith they can't operate at the same time it's like light and darkness either you're going to be a light on the hill and one that the salt and the flavor of your anointing and your call is very prominent or you're going to be a candle whose flicker whose wick has run dry so i want to still be a light even when it seems dark to everybody else, stay being the light because that's how we draw people to cross to the cross. I also want to ask that you pray for my friend 
Nicole Colbert Johnson, attorney Nicole Colbert Johnson, who had breast cancer surgery this week. And um, I shared her on my timeline. You can look her up. She's a courageous woman of God, a wonderful small business attorney, a prolific author, endorsed by Oprah and all these things. And she needs our prayers. She just had her breast cancer surgery. And because of the coronavirus, she had to go through so many things on the day of her surgery and even after recovering that she'll have to go through because all the doctors and stuff are not available. So just lift her up and everyone who has to have surgery in this season, that the doctors and the nurses will have what they need so that they can be safe, so that they can do safe procedures, have the PPEs, have the ventilators, have the mask, and have the courage and under, not courage, but have the faith in knowing that their institutions are protecting them as much as they're trying to protect us as patients. I love you with the love of Jesus. To continue to follow me on social media, go to ampersand Dr. Uni at Pettis. Please feel free to give to my GoFundMe. It's www.gofundme.com under the campaign name, Help Unia Pettis Fight Cancer. The purpose of the fund is to help defray the thousands of dollars of costs associated with my medical expenses dealing with these three different cancers in the last 15 months the surgeries, the treatments. As you know, I'm still in the chemo phase. I love you. Continue to love yourself and know God loves us best.